In this demonstration, we will review an application that consumes web blog event from Kafka, parse the event data to identify the successful served request versus failed requests, and generate statistics on request types and produce the results of the computation as events to sync. Let's begin and review the detailed steps involved in a typical real-time streaming use case. Diota provides complex event processing in real time by Apache Spark with its structured streaming API and enables native Spark functionality at the design level. Data processing in Diota is performed using transformations within the data stream. Diota provides various transformations such as expression, rollup, filter, splitter, and lookup as data moves from the source to sync. Diota exposes all the native functions of the real time processing platform. In this instance, Spark SQL functions are exposed for usage in the transformation and are applied as per the business rules. Let's take a look at the Kafka data point. Kafka consists of the producer and consumer architecture. We have defined all the relevant properties for the data point and configured the topic which is streaming continuously. Next, let's review the data stream on the Spark processing platform. We have set the Kafka messaging source and the HDFS and Kafka as sync. All the transformations, expression, filter, and rollup are performed on Spark. Kafka source attributes consist of a single column event in the topic. Streaming is primarily based on the timestamp originating from the source. If the source does not contain a timestamp, then the aggression is based on the Kafka event time. The extract streaming channel is set to Spark for in-memory processing. Additionally, the watermark time is set to 5 minutes for late data handling in calculating aggregation. The log data is raw and the fields are space separated. The various fields and the events are parsed by making use of the regular expression function of Spark SQL. This is done in expression transform in Diota. Under attributes, we can define and extract the required attribute values using regular expression condition. For example, this expression extracts the timestamp data from the event. Now that we have parsed the event data and converted them to rows of fields, the next step is to identify the bad and good requests served by the web server. Using a router transformation in the data stream pipeline, we will split the event data based on values of the response code column and route them to HDFS and Kafka sync for further processing. Here we have defined three splitter conditions. The good condition extracts the good server request data with response code equal to 200 and loads them to a topic in Kafka Sync. The bad condition extracts the bad server request data with the response code not equal to 200 and loads them to HDFS Sync. The stats condition redirects all the data in the linked target object for further processing. Finally, let's perform aggregation on the type of requests get, post, head. The rollup transformation in the data stream pipeline performs the aggregation. The expression transform is linked with the rollup transform to get the total count based on request type and window length. In an event processing pipeline, it's common to aggregate metrics over a window of event time. Diota models Spark features to define the windowed aggregation on event data in its rollup transformation. We can specify the time in window length field, and the window gets applied on the timestamp. The rollup transformation counts the number of unique request types over a window length of 60 seconds. The results are written to a Kafka topic and our required attributes are mapped under Attribute Mapper. Diota efficiently manages the creation of Spark-specific code and processes data streams even if the user has limited expertise. Based on the data in the Spark execution model, the data is converted into data frames in the backend and transformations are performed. Once the data flow design is complete, click on Save and then Run to execute the data stream. To check the execution status, either click on View Execution Status or go to the Activity screen in the Monitor module. Our data stream is active and running continuously, natively on Spark, and the records have been loaded into the DFS and Kafka sync. This concludes the short tutorial of real time data streaming on Spark using Diota. Thanks for watching. Visit support.diota.com for additional knowledge base articles and tutorials.